Hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm going to do a reading for tonight's uh, new moon. So let's just say a quick blessing. We'll find out what's uh, coming up. All right. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that you direct our hands, our hearts, our words, and our minds to work your will in our lives each day. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. We also ask... Um, for love and support to be given to anyone right now who is needing it, anyone who has lost someone recently or who is going through a challenging time in their lives. We pray for everyone and we ask that we all receive um, blessings of love from one another and from a Holy Spirit. All right. Amen. All righty. Happy New Year to you all. Um, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think 2022... Uh, the future looks bright, right? Alrighty, so let's um, see what we got going on here. Oh boy. This is very interesting. I have um, the Knight of Pentacles on its side, the Fool, and this Wheel of Fortune, all of them on their side like this. And I can see here that someone has taken a very long time um, to get from one place to another, and it feels like they're still not even quite there. I have this Fool energy. This is someone who's about to start something new it feels like um, time's up with this Wheel of Fortune. There have been too many delays to whatever this was, whatever it is. And it's someone who is um, kind of desperate to make a change. They feel like whatever is coming up, it's taken too long to get here. I have the Four of Cups. This is someone who's isolated themselves for a long time, and they've really been focusing on a lot of negativity, to be honest. Um, this person has been denying, and it's the Emperor in the reverse. Um, alrighty. And so. Oh, boy. Um, this is, the Emperor is Aries. It's also Divine Masculine energy. And I'm assuming that's who we're talking about today because it's the new moon. And I tend to pull cards for um, divine feminine, divine masculine energies on the transitions from the new um, from new moons and also for full moons, I notice. Um, so this feels like very much related to this divine masculine energy. Um, this is someone who feels like they've taken too long. And with this Four of Cups, this is someone who was focusing on the wrong things, um, admittedly so. And so much so that they were pushing away any real love in their heart. Um, I'm hearing fireworks going off in the distance. Um, this emperor in the reverse is someone who has lost a lot. I have the Ten of Wands. Everything's fallen apart. Ooh. Um, the Ten of Wands is whenever it's in the reverse. This is someone who's lost a lot and they've let a lot go. I have the Two of Pentacles here on its side. And this is someone who is desperately trying to reclaim their balance. And I have the Lovers here. And this person has a new choice in front of them. And I have the two of swords in the reverse. This person can't make a decision, though. They don't know what to do. They don't know what they're supposed to do. They can't make a decision about which way to go. Right? And when we have that in the reverse, this is someone who recognizes that their decision is taking too long. I have the King of Wands in the reverse. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Masculine Energy. And then I have the Two of Wands in the reverse. Wow, two twos in the reverse. Mm. And I've got the Two of Pentacles over here. You got three twos. Oh, boy. 
and none of them are in the upright position. This two of wands is someone who doesn't even, um, they keep looking back at their past choices and they're disappointed in how they uh, managed something in their life, um, love life, work life, something. They feel like they've lost a lot. They've, something's fallen apart entirely. They feel like it's their fault. Um, they feel like it could have been, um, it, a lot of it is this energy of taking so long to make a change. They stayed somewhere too long. And because of that, um, they may have made some very poor choices or they could have lost a lot for sure. We can get into that in a minute if we need to, but I don't think we really need to. I think we can just say this is someone who's feeling bad about the losses that they've recently um, incurred. This is someone who has um, is, is, is very much isolating themselves right now because they're afraid of themselves in a way. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it's like... And now I've got the King of Cups in the reverse, mm -hmm. which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. <sighs> okay. There's been a lot going on for water sign and fire sign masculines, I've noticed, in the recent past. This King of Cups in the reverse is someone who they denied feelings that they had about their life, about their situation. They didn't speak up for themselves. They allowed themselves to become um, passive aggressive or even just um, unkind. Um, they sat in misery in a situation for too long. Man, this is, this is kind of rough. This needs to take a turn. I'm hoping because it's this isolated energy with this four of cups is someone who's very mopey, very sad, really. Um, and they have been for a while. You see, they've been focusing on things that haven't gone well, focusing on this three of cups. This person could have been, um, involved in a third party situation or someone else may have involved them in a third party situation. And this person's really been denying true love for a long time. And this person stayed in a bad situation um, for too long, like I said. And it feels like they've been faced with a choice now where they need to make a decision about what they wanna do. Are we gonna carry this into the new year, right? That's around the corner. Um, this person doesn't even believe, they, there's a lot of insecurity in this person. And this is someone who feels like they don't have a lot to offer right now. They may have lost a lot of money. They may have lost, who knows, a home, their self-esteem. Self and I've got the three of pentacles on its side, their job. Um, with the three of pentacles. They could have lost friends recently. Um, Maybe because of this isolation, maybe because they were in a bad situation, it was causing them to be unhappy and in turn unkind to others, maybe dr driving other people away. Um, they may be on the odds with um, extended family. I have the magician on its side. Um, that's someone here who's... Well, it goes right on top of this Wheel of Fortune. This is someone who feels like they're incurring karma for what has happened here, what what they've done here. My goodness, kiddos, if this is you, or if this is anybody you know, my goodness. I got the chariot in the reverse, that's Cancerian energy. That's someone who feels like they're stuck, completely stuck, can't make a decision, I've lost it all, but now I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. This is someone who feels really, really down and out. Then it's this emperor, this king of wands, king of cups energy. Some of the majors, we've got cancer. We've got, this is Ophiuchus Aries for me. Aries, we've got Aries. We've got Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We've got um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And I've got Gemini. And Sagittarius. I think we got them all. Yeah. All righty. Well then. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to keep on with this storyline because I want to know how this gets better for this person because this person, this is the thing. Um, with this Wheel of Fortune, we have a change that's coming. If this is your reading, this is about to shift. This is about to change. You know what goes up must come down and what goes down got to go back up sometime, you know? It's like life is like that. We learn things, we grow, we 
experience hardship. We experience challenges. And oftentimes we experience challenge because of the choices that we make and the situations we put ourselves in or the people we align with and we get stuck in situations with. Who knows? Who knows? The point is, whatever it is this person's done, I think it's time to move on. However, what what is it that we're... What does this person ultimately want to see happen in their life? That's the question. Like, what do I want? Let's use this uh, traditional Rider Waite deck. I've got the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. This person is saying, you know what? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Whenever I get the Hangman card out, it means a few different things. But it's the card of Pisces. But it's also um, someone who's waiting for the moment. They're waiting for the inspiration. Prayer. Prayer is helpful for me personally. Um, meditation, that's basically the position of the hangman is someone who's putting themselves in a state of meditation. And you see, we've got the two of swords over here too. This is what allows this person to be able to make a decision. And look, I got the empress right underneath that because that is what this, that, okay, hold on more about that in a minute. So we have the two of swords in the reverse where this person just couldn't figure out where they wanted to go, what they wanted to do next, all right? And now with this hanged man situation, we have someone who starts to, starts to gain clarity. And it's probably through a lot of this isolation. It really is. Um, because that's, and, and it might be because of some prayer that comes up because of that isolation energy. If we find the hermit card in here, we'll know. But this is um, someone who all of a sudden, the light bulb switch is going to click on. They're going to hear that little inner voice that they need to hear. They're, um, they're going to see what they need to see. Yeah, very good. Um, and go ahead and put these on top of each other. Now, over here to this Empress energy. This goes right on top of this King of Cups in the reverse Emperor, right? And we have the Nine of Wands under that. And I got the Three of Pentacles again. And I got the Strength card. And I got the Eight of Wands. And I got the Six of Cups. Get crazy. And then this. Oh, my Lord. All right. And we're going to stop right there. Um, and then I'm going to shuffle. We'll just go through this real quick. So this King of Cups in the reverse, um, I don't know what they've recently been through, but they're about to start, they're about to um, start a new phase in their life, a new cycle in their life, if you will. I always, um, it's kind of, you know, once we make it through the world card, which is number 21 in major deck of, um, major arcana of tarot, then we wrap back around to the number zero, which is the fool, where we have an opportunity to start something new. It's scary though, because you don't know what's at the bottom of the hole. You don't know what's on the other side. You don't know what's going to come of this. It's transitionary times that freak people out the most, right? Because we don't know. We don't know. And that's where we always find the chaos in our life too. Um, because it's an uncertain time getting from point A to Z. That's This person's been stuck for a while. They haven't figured out how to do it, what they want to do. And there's been a lot of delayed timing here because this person has had to work some things out in their head. They've had to figure out who they are. They've had to go through all of these changes and become a greater version of themselves, almost like a caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. I'm really sorry for for that kind of hallmarky reference there, but it kind of is. It's very transformative, this ending for this person. Now, they don't know it is because they have been in the midst of some kind of depression here, but once they come out on the other side, I've got this strength card here. They're being asked to overcome a lot of the toxic qualities that they've been holding on to in their life, and they're being asked to address how they attracted these toxicities into their lives in the first place, whoever this person is. And it's, um, it's this emperor king energy. Okay. Um, and just so we're clear, um, you don't have to be male, but it's someone who carries this masculine, heavy masculine energy. Okay. All righty. It's not about your gender. It's about the energy that you carry, right? So anyway, we've had all these delays and they were important. It was important because these, these had to be addressed with this 10 of wands in the reverse. This person's lost a lot. They feel like they've, they've, they're, they feel like a failure. That's what they're calling themselves in their mind is a failure. And it's not pretty to them. It's not pretty. And they're recognizing the choices that they've made. And this is really important. This has been very key is for them to take responsibility for whatever this is that's fallen apart. Okay. Now, this empress in the upright position right here, that's divine feminine energy. It's Virgo energy, right? And I've got this nine of wands here, which is our wounded warrior card where we have people with a lot of boundaries up. And we have 
had very little communication between this emperor and this empress for some time. There were a lot of walls, a lot of boundaries up between these people and probably with good reason. And this, there's about to be a new opportunity for choice between these two individuals, between this emperor and this empress. We have like some kind of gateway of, oh, I don't know. It's probably like a union portal or something like that. Um, it's something that comes up. There's a new opportunity to start over again for these two people. Um, I don't know if they're going to take it or not because we have a lot of past wounding that's happened here with this um, nine of wands where we have a lot of people with a lot of walls and baggage up around themselves and it feels like it's about to dissolve though it really feels like it's about to disintegrate um, i have this eight of wands which is fast moving direct communication we have the six of cups which is a soulmate energy right it's past life love it's someone that you've known before somehow right um, i have this page of wands which is a message somebody sends a message of flirtation curiosity interest something like that it's like a spark um, and it changes things. It moves us into this two of cups, another soulmate dynamic. And then um, with this, and we have the page of cups out too. You got two pages, one right on top of each other because it's not just flirtatious. It's not just curious. It's not just of interest. It's not just instigatory. It is actually full of love, kindness, and friendship. And what's interesting is not only do we have like this kindred love here. This is a very sweet love. This is a very much a partnering kind of love here with this two of cups. Okay, and I have this justice card over here, which is also Libra, and it's something that writes the scales here. This divine masculine energy feels like they oh really um okay, there it is. They've been waiting to talk to this empress, and I've got the wheel of fortune there. Um, there's been a separation here and I have this high priestess. There's been a lot of, um, telepathic communication. I've got the king of swords out there and I got the two of wands out. You have so many, um, repeat cards and there it is. Um, that's the eight of swords in the reverse. There's an unblocking of communication that happens here. Um, I don't know when this is going to happen. I see that we're about to have a release uh, it's almost like a release of funds or something. It's like uh, with this Wheel of Fortune, it's like a release of, um, and it's so funny. I'm looking across at the Google clock and I see um, a Ferris wheel over there on the Google screen, the TV screen. And we're talking about the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and it, this is, it's like a release of timing for this, like all of these delays that were necessary. This, this is an energy of separation. This is an energy of taking a time off, a time out from one another, and an energy of recollecting oneself, like re-examining one's life, re-examining what is important, um, you know, making a lot of major changes. And with this high priestess energy, these two have never been disconnected, this emperor empress energy. I guarantee you um, there's been a lot of heavy tel telepathy between these two, a lot of check-ins here and there. And so they have never been truly distant from one another. However, like always in each other's thoughts, right? But a little more than that. Um, with this King of Swords energy, this is someone who's ready to tell the truth about what they've been feeling, how they've been feeling, what's been going on in their lives, that kind of thing. And... Um, this page of swords, you know, we were just talking about these pages. Now you got three of them out here. Um, but this page of swords is someone who wants to send a message quickly. So uh, we were just talking about timelines. Um, this, if this is your reading, this, and I don't know if you're divine masculine or divine feminine here, but this divine masculine, it looks like they have an intention to reach out and talk to this Empress energy about whatever. I don't know. Um. That seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Oh, snap, there it is. And I've got the king of wands there again. Um, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, wow. Um, this, these are all the same cards. Um, this five of wands, this person has been um, trying to think, and this is what they do when they're at work. I've got the eight of pentacles right here too. Um, this is what they do at work is they, um, re sorry, hold on. I have, look at this again. I have every single card here. Shit. Every one of them up to there. Okay, slide that over. Well, let's start with the five of wands, shall we? This person, when they are at work, and I'm telling you, this is what's happening <laughs> if they're still working, because I have the three of pentacles on its side here twice where I said somebody may have recently lost a job or they may be transitioning teams is actually more probably the, the thing. There's just an awful lot of transition right now. But in any case, while this person is at work, they are really struggling to keep their mind focused. They keep trying to, to write a message to this empress. It's taking their mind away from where it should be. This is this analysis paralysis energy, this um, five of wands energy, where we have someone who's fighting a mental battle within themselves. Should I, shouldn't I? Yes, no. Will this situation, this is going to cause drama in my life. This is going to be a problem. I'm going to get an earful from this person. Um, meanwhile, I've got the two of pentacles out here again, and this is someone who has been really, really struggling to keep their head above water. This is someone who cannot have any more drama in their life than what they've had. Now, I promise you this person, this divine masculine emperor energy, because we got the emperor out here again, um, whoever this emperor energy is, um, they're about to experience a major um, upswing in good vibes. Yes, yes, you are. You are. Um, things are about to get a lot better. Um, this person is all of a sudden going to start to feel like themselves again. Now, it comes from acknowledgement of where you've been and how you've gotten there. I've got the four of, of cups there again. And this is someone who, you know, for a long time, they haven't been seeing the good in life period. Remember I was saying, what's it going to take to turn this person's frown upside down? I was hoping to see this sun energy here because the sun is all about healing. This is the energy of Leo. This um, kind of goes with this strength energy here, which is also Leo, where we have somebody who's taking charge of a situation um, with very much an emperor energy, right? This divine masculine collective all of a sudden starts to get it together. Good job, you. All right, over back here, we're still talking about all these other things. Okay, so back over here, we've got the magician again. This is someone who says, it's time for me to take charge. Yep, we already talked about that. This person is um, saying, you know what, what's the harm in reaching out? What's the harm of just saying what's been going on? What's the harm? Um, this is someone who is saying, I want to be um, good in my life. I want to have good intentions with what it is that I do from now on. I want to be honest with the things that I do and the choices that I make. Nice. Alrighty. Now, this person may have recently gone through a divorce or a separation with the Ten of Swords. That can be an energy of betrayal. It can be an on-again, off-again relationship. Maybe, again, this was, like I was saying, something that they sat in for too long. I've got the Devil card right there. That's what was keeping them stuck with the Chariot in the reverse, which we already had out here earlier with the Chariot in the reverse. Okay. This is like... A lot of cards here, y'all. Now, when this person, where to even start over here? This person actually, back to these good intentions, because I was just thinking to myself, what is it that this person was really wanting to express to this Empress energy? Like, what the heck is the big deal? What is it that you want that is so important that you've started to fixate on here? I think what they want to say is they want to say, look, I'm, um, I'm starting over again with myself. I've been through a lot. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Haven't even talked about the Ten of Cups yet. Tens are cycles of completion, the wheel of fortune you've had out two or three different times here. Um, that's a number 10 cycle of completion. Now we can start over, right? We already talked about that with the fool and we have the fool out again here. Again, remember I said the number zero. Yep, this is someone who says I'm ready to start over. And this person is thinking about this every day and they're thinking about um, 
what they want their future to look like. There's is someone who is going to be coming out of this depression. There's just an energetic shift. You know, sometimes if you're very sensitive and a lot of divine masculines are, and they don't know how to, they don't know. Some are very great at identifying it. Others, they can just sense, sense energies. Um, but there, they can sense a shift that happens. And sometimes you just kind of have to ride an energetic wave if you're someone who is sensitive and there's just kind of an energy of depression in your collective for whatever reason. Um, and it feels like this person's going to experience a collective shift. You know, the whole collective will. I can't speak English tonight. Um, but... It's about to it's about to get a lot better. It's gonna feel a lot healthier. Okay. Now this King of Swords is about the most clear communicator you could hope for, which is good. Because in the past, whoever this um emperor energy is. They've been embodying this King of Cups in the reverse and this King of Wands in the reverse. Now, and this Emperor in the reverse, right? Now we've got the Emperor in the upright as soon as we have this little shift that happens. And we have the Two of Swords in the upright. And I saw the King of Wands in the upright as well. So we have someone that's transitioning from dark times into light. And this King of Swords energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, is someone who is all of a sudden able to communicate how they're feeling for the first time in a very long time. And it could be, could be an energetic shift, could be a throat chakra cleanse, could be because all of a sudden they have the words to say, all of a sudden they have clarity coming from that hanged man energy as to, to how they feel in the first place. I don't think they've known. I think there's been a lot of confusion because depression aids in, you know, it aids confusion. Um, when you're sitting in this state of gray fogginess, it's real hard to see, right? The sun comes in, clears it all off. Good. All right. Whew. So we do have this page of cups out here twice. We have this six of cups out here twice. Soulmate energy, message of love, kindness, friendship. Um, Page of Wands out here twice. That's someone who is has like a growing um, interest in someone. Um, it's like every day. It's like a, God, it's just like so corny to say, but like every day the flame gets bigger and brighter. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, and now I have the two of wands in the upright position, which is good because we had the two of wands in the reverse before. So now we're starting to see a shift. We're starting to see a change. Hey, this is good news. The two of wands is someone who all of a sudden does start to have self-confidence again. There's somebody who says, you know what? Maybe I do have something to offer to someone. Maybe I am missing out on some happiness. Maybe I, maybe I do you know, maybe I am not such a bad person to be around. Good. That's nice. Um, this three of cups, or excuse me, this three of pentacles is in the upright position now, whereas before it was on its side. And this is someone who all of a sudden finds themselves more easy to work with at work, at home, on a team. This person all of a sudden is the best team player there ever was. Somebody just gets happy again all of a sudden. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, yep, okay. Let's move on. Now, how does this Empress feel about this whole situation? Because that I, really, this masculine energy has hijacked, once again, this whole reading, but that's fine, I don't care. Um, this feminine energy, what do y'all have going on out there? Ten of Pentacles, that's good. This feminine energy, you may be experiencing a windfall of money. You may be um, getting a promotion at work if you work. You may um, be buying a home. There's an energy of stability that comes with the Ten of Pentacles. Nicely done. Hermit in the reverse for the feminine energy. The Hierophant in the reverse. The Four of Swords. Yep. Been through a lot. Yep, yep. Hold on. 
Let's just This, I gotta be honest, I was really not sure what to expect from this feminine energy here. I, Kids, I got the Two of Swords out for the feminine energy as well. And the Eight of Swords, which is all about blocks communication. So remember how we had this Two of Swords out here for the masculine twice? Well, the feminines had it too. They um, have the Two of Swords in the reverse. This person has also been... Um, in a state of isolation, in a state of separation from someone, maybe this masculine, it's been on their mind heavily. They haven't known what to do either. So don't, feminines don't think you're so smart because you got the chariot in the reverse too. So ha, um, this is like pretty much the same position. This, These two have been mirroring one another where they feel like they can't move on from one another and yet they can't move close to one another in some way. I have this feminine energy carrying this um, page of cups as well. Um, it feels like somebody who's saying, could you just come on already? Is it really that hard? Can't we? I'm hearing that. Why can't we be friends song? And there's the um, page of cups out there twice from the masculine. It's ugh, these two are y'all are breaking my heart. Um, this hermit in the reverse is this feminine's wishing that they've made different choices as well. They see themselves as someone who struggles to commit to situations. They see themselves as someone who has not seen anything that they want to commit to um, either. This is someone who's um, not sure if conventional ways are ever going to work for them again. This is somebody who's been um, also self-isolating a lot with that hermit in the reverse. This is someone, this feminine energy feels highly judged by others around them. And whenever we have it in the reverse, it's because they could feel that way because of choices that they've made in the past. This is an energy of isolation, but also exposure. Um, and this hierophant in the reverse, that's Taurus and the hermit is Virgo. Um, the chariot is again Cancerian, right? Um, but this uh, hierophant in the reverse is someone who doesn't feel like they can fit into the box. They don't feel like they fit into the mold. This is someone who feels a bit like, um, I'm hearing vigilante, but that's not the right word. It's a uh, misfit, misfit. Um, yes. Oh, I have temperance out. That's Sagittarius. And I have the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. This is someone who has had to um, temper themselves. This energy, this feminine. This is someone who has had to learn how to rebalance their lives. And they have had to learn the fine art of patience. I think it's so funny that temperance is the card of Sagittarius. Because I don't think of Sagittarius as being patient um but it's possibly you know learning that aspect of ourselves right um queen of cups energy here which is someone who's learned what unconditional love is and what unconditional love for themselves is this may be a recent realization for this feminine collective whichever like whoever you guys are you may have recently rediscovered a uh, love of yourself through a time of isolation this is someone who hasn't been talking to people for a long time as well because you both have this eight of swords here both this masculine and feminine where we have people who are just not being great communicators putting off communication not just with one another um, but with kind of everyone around them this is someone who's been really focusing on their career focusing on their finances focusing on their home and stability um, and again with that four of swords out and that two of um, swords this is someone who recognizes that they've had a need to take a break they've had a need for separation because it's promoted a lot of self-growth Nicely done. Yep. Okay. And I have the Six of Cups out for you guys too. The third time. Yeah. There it is. So this feminine energy sees this soulmate potential as well. It's not soulmate potential. It is what it is. If it's your soulmate, it's your soulmate. If you're meant to know somebody, you're meant to know somebody. That's just how it is, right? When was the last time anybody died and they didn't meet the people they were supposed to? I don't think it happens. No. I always say the same thing. If they have to hit you with their car, they will find you. That's how soulmates are. 
I don't know where that other card went. It's somewhere in all this craziness, right? This is craziness too. This has been like a tough um, knot to untie here for these individuals. But this six of cups out here is again, soulmate love, soulmate relationship, soulmate energy. And I have the Knight of Pentacles on its side, which was the first thing that we started with, where I said, someone has taken too long. That Knight of Pentacles energy is someone who doesn't trust themselves. They haven't, this is what it is. Neither one of these people, these, um, this entire collective, this feminine collective, this masculine collective, neither one has been able to trust their gut instinct and trust themselves enough to take this first step off into this new phase in their life, into this new journey, this number zero card, right? Um, this fool energy. And that has been a really big lesson for both of these people over the course of the last year or maybe years. This is someone who had to be um, shaken up. They had to learn how to make choices for themselves. And some of the choices that they've made in their life that weren't coming from places of authenticity really jacked up shit. And this is someone who's learning that every day they have to make good choices. Every day they have to be the person that they want to see in the mirror because nobody else is going to do it. And so <clears throat> this person has had some character building experiences over the recent past, and it is transformative to say the least. But both of these people recognize that they're coming back together, their forgiveness, their friendship, their love, their um, expression of love to one another has taken too long. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the deck. Uh-huh. When they're in the reverse, they're not moving at all. Kind of like the chariot in the reverse, which we've seen out here twice. But when they're on their side, it's because they're waiting to see a change or they're waiting to make a decision. There's an energy of waiting. I got to be honest with you, I think this Wheel of Fortune energy that comes in here real hot and heavy is going to is is going to seal the deal right there. Yeah. It's just a shift. It's a shift on um, this masculine has to come out of this state of depression enough to see themselves. This feminine energy kind of the same thing. This feminine energy it's like they what is going on with like quite honestly because I can feel like their feelings about this masculine energy but what if you guys kind of the wheel of fortune again nice okay so it's it's just time when it's time it's time when it's cooked it's cooked dang yeah The world in the reverse quite honestly so the world you know we just talked about that a few minutes ago how you have to go through the world before you can get to that fool energy this feminine you guys honestly it there's been a lot of mirroring within this collective because the world is someone when we have it in the reverse that's someone who's really struggling to let go of old cycles they really are and it's because they haven't been able to see themselves in a different way for a long time, this feminine energy. There was this heavy energy of isolation, of getting very close with one's higher self, with this hermit energy. This is someone who has, again, been just as hard on themselves as the masculine collective here has been on themselves. There's an energy of someone who feels like they've had to shoulder a lot of guilt about things, um, maybe because they deserve it, and maybe because it was heaped upon them unjustly, I'm not sure. But there's there's a lot of carrying of old bags baggage that has to be removed. We cannot take it into 2022, kids, right? No, no. Time for people to get happy. Time for people to get together. Time for people to start loving each other. It's going to be a good year. I can tell already. I will see you guys soon. All right. See you next year. <laughs> All right. I won't say that ever again. All right. Bye. Maybe.